It is true. China's deep seek, like we told you, has turned the world of artificial intelligence on its head. And now it's bleeding some of the biggest companies. The open source deep seek R1 model from China has dethroned OpenAI's chat GPT in the Apple App Store for the most number of free downloads, making waves for building a model similar to chat GPT, but for an exponentially smaller cost and at a far smaller time run. Take a look at the latest that we're reporting on this. Deep Seek. It's all what everyone is talking about. The Chinese startup is shaking up the AI universe. Its new generation of AI models are competing with the ones developed by US big tech, but at a fraction of the cost. Even the US president has taken note. Today and over the last couple of days, I've been reading about uh, China, and some of the companies in China, one in particular, coming up with a faster method of AI and much less expensive method. And that's good because you don't have to spend this much money. I view that as a positive, as an asset. DeepSeek claims to have spent around $3.5 million to train its V3 model, delivering the same results that took Google, OpenAI, Meta and others hundreds of millions of dollars to achieve. According to Epoch AI, Google and OpenAI spent around $70 million to $100 million in 2023 to train Gemini 1.0 Ultra and GPT-4 Frontier models. This is very unusual when you hear a deep seek, when you hear somebody, somebody come up with something. We always have the ideas, we're always first. So I would say that's a positive. That could be very much a positive development. So instead of spending billions and billions, you'll spend less and you'll come up with hopefully the same solution. Analysts are calling it a tipping point of AI economics. This really goes to show that necessity is the mother of invention, as the old saying goes, is they don't necessarily have the tens of billions of dollars that some of these companies in the U.S. have, and they wanted to compete. They had perhaps a better algorithm, a better idea, about how to train the models and then also how to execute on it for answering people's questions. And they are using a slightly different technique, which is apparently, based on the data so far, a lot more energy efficient and efficient in terms of the chips that it might take as well. They were able to really do this on what some people would call a shoestring budget. But there are apprehensions too. DeepSeek CEO and founder Liang Wenfeng is a billionaire who runs a hedge fund. These images of him meeting with Chinese Premier Li Qiang on 20th January have fueled concerns about the tech company's proximity with the Chinese government, putting the spotlight on data sharing. Bureau Report, India Today.